Hey everyone, this is Mukesh once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about how you can configure Visual Code with Python. Okay, so till now, whatever tutorials we have covered, we have covered using PyCharm, right? But many companies or I would say many people are still preferring working with Visual Code. So working with Visual Code is fun. I have worked with Visual Code with Java, with Python as well. And it's very lightweight and very easy to use. Okay, so let me show you how you can use it. So guys, at the end of the day, we need to write Python code. So whether you use PyCharm or Visual Code or maybe you can use Eclipse as well to write the Python code, it's totally up to you. So in this one, I will show you how you can work with Visual Code. So first of all, you need to install the Visual Code. So do one thing, just type download Visual Code. Okay, Visual Studio Code and you will get their official website. So just open the first one and directly it will go to download section. Here you can see we have multiple options in case if you're working with Mac, you can just go to this option. In case if you're working with Windows and Linux, you can find the Debian packages and other stuff. Right now I'm using Windows 10. So again for Windows 10, we have system installer and zip file. So just click here and by default it will install exe file for you. It will actually download that you need to install. I already have this in my system so I'm not going to uh, you know install once again. So I will click on cancel. It is just like how we have the normal exe files guys. You just need to double click on this and it will continue and it will install in few seconds. So right now you can see you can use visual code with uh, TypeScript, JavaScript, Python, Java, C++ and so on. So the moment you install visual code, just search for visual code and you will get as an auto suggestion. That is one of the way to open this. So I will show you two ways. Uh, let me show you this way first. The moment you open this, if you're using first time, you will be getting this welcome window where in case if you want to explore from, you know, their tutorials, they have given you multiple options okay how you can customize how you can do the settings color themes and so on and they have also given couple of options for you so you just uh, remove this welcome window and you will get this um, you know view in the left hand side you can see this is explorer this is the search option this is the moment you start working with source control management tools you will be using this and here you can simply you know uh, run your program you can also debug your program and this is very important that extension okay all the popular extension or whatever extensions you want you will get directly from here and the one if you see this is like popular one and this is the recommended one so we are anyways going to use python today so just go to this particular uh, section first call explorer and you can see you will find no folder open so in order to work you need a workspace or in simple words i will say folder so let me do one thing let me create a folder here and I will give this folder name as my VS code. Okay. And here I will be installing or I will be keeping all my files. So I will go back to visual code. I will click on open folder. I will go to desktop and you can see just now we created my VS code and I will click on select folder. So now you can see it's again giving a welcome window in case if you think this is irritating. You can see one option here right called show welcome page on startup you just uncheck this so next time you will not get this welcome window now you can see it is focusing on your current folder right so let me create a python file so guys a prerequisite for this video is you need to install python first okay so in case if you don't have python i will highly recommend you to watch my previous video where we discussed how we can install python in windows and mac and how we can set the path and all once that is done then only come to this video so i'm assuming that you have a python installed so let me write my first program i will say first python dot py the moment you type this extension you can see it is automatically giving this python uh, icon here plus it is also giving you that do you want to install the recommended extension for python and i would highly recommend you to install this extension because it will give you a couple of you know, auto suggestions and so many other stuff and it will give you all this information about this extension you can see uh, you know you can do linting debugging you can also use code formatting and many other stuff unit test so just click on install it will take few seconds and this extension will be ready to use 
so it is taking few seconds so let's wait okay uh, and here we will be writing all of our complete program and if you want to see this is our folder so if I go to my desktop and if I simply search for my VS code just a second yeah you can see this is our file that we created you can see by default it is still taking the PyCharm uh, you know extension uh, sorry PyCharm um, I will say default opening but we can change it okay right now just ignore this it's a pure python file and yeah it is installed now because now you can see you have option to call uninstall now i don't want to uninstall so just do one thing just type a class okay and you can see now now it is giving me auto suggestions let's say if you want to create a class and automatically it has given you the complete syntax that this is how the syntax would be you need to write class class name in case if you want to inherit any of this class you can inherit and you can see the doc string and pass keyword awesome right same thing if i want to create a function i'm getting this auto suggestion now let's say if i want to create a function so it is giving me auto suggestions like write the function name in case if you want parameters just give the parameter list colon and doc string and your complete statement since it's a blank one, it is using pass. Fine. Now let's do one thing. Let's write our first Selenium uh, program in Visual Code. So I will just open this terminal. So you can see, guys, we have a terminal option here. Uh, just click on terminal, and you will get the terminal here. So right now, I'm not sure whether it's a Visual Code um, issue or something from my end. It is not showing me anything. But the moment I type. Uh, let's say dir in windows it is giving me list of directories so right now i just have one file which is first python.py file let me clear it so i will say cls right now first of all i need to install selenium so i will say pip install and i will just say selenium so it will take few seconds it will install selenium here okay and then i can continue uh, you know using it so it's already installed in my system guys so it says requirement already satisfied so let's do one thing let's simply say from uh, selenium right we have seen right how do we import i will say import web driver and i can continue web driver dot and i will get all the auto suggestions now let's say if i want to work with chrome I can simply provide the chrome driver path and I continue I can continue using it okay so let's say I just want to use uh, chrome now so the moment we run this code we will be getting a driver then I will simply maximize then I will pass a URL okay so URL can be anything I will simply print just type print here okay i will say driver or let's say application title is driver dot title and in case if i want uh let's say url current url i will simply say application url is driver dot current url and finally I will close it so I will say driver dot quit fine so let's do one thing let's pass okay this is actually by mistake I have given control plus plus so it is increasing the font if you just want to increase or decrease the font size say control plus plus or control minus minus I'm using control minus just to reduce the font size so this is now the font size fine now i need to provide the path and in case if we don't want to provide the path every time then we have seen earlier right how we can use driver uh, web driver manager so in case if you haven't seen that video let me quickly show you so we are going to use one web driver manager for python where it will automatically take care of the downloading of the driver and setting up the path so first of all we need to install this web driver hyphen manager okay so it's just print here or just give the pip space install webdriver manager 
and it is already available here in my system so it already says requirement already satisfied once it is done just type from uh, just type web driver manager dot we are looking for chrome okay so we will import only chrome driver manager so once you import just say chrome driver manager and dot install and we are good to go so this particular statement will download the chrome driver for you and it will start the chrome session and let me just open any url so i will use facebook or any other application for this example facebook.com and we are done now in order to run this program what you can do just right click and you can see this run python in terminal okay so we did a small mistake we forgot to give this double quotes now let's run this python file and you can see it's starting our chrome session it will maximize and it will simply open facebook.com and it will print the title so the title is facebook space hyphen login or sign in application url is this right quite easy now this is one of the way what if i want to try another way so this was our program right so if i directly want to start a visual code from here what i can do i can just uh, first of all you can see this bar right just type cmd and here i will say code space one dot that's all and it is going to start visual code directly and you will see your file is already here okay so either you start visual code normally or you start from here it's same and now you can see if you don't want to right click and run python file in terminal you will also see one option here called run python file in terminal directly this option the moment you uh, click here it is going to do the same thing it is going to start your chrome session it will start facebook and it will continue right quite easy guys so let me quickly repeat first of all make sure you have python installed in your system once it is installed then only go to visual code okay so visual code actually you can start without python as well but in we are actually going to set up python in visual code so python has to be installed then we went to code.visualstudio.com and in the download section we have downloaded exe you can go with the zip file as well this exe is just like a normal software just install and visual code will be ready so first option which i showed you in case you want to start just type visual you will get this option click here and it will start in order to work you need a folder or a working directory so in our case we created our folder called my vs code dot uh, only my vs code here and uh, in vs code we have given the folder path right from where it should take then we created a python file right okay so here what we did we just clicked on open folder and here we selected my vs code and we were able to run then we created mypython.py file the moment i added this extension called py uh, vs code was giving me option to install extension so we added one extension called python extension and after that it was giving all the auto suggestion so first program is just writing a small selenium program which should open application print the title url so i use webdriver.chrome and that's everything we have discussed earlier as well okay i hope this was uh, useful and where well, another part guys second thing which we discussed like in case if you don't directly want to start a visual code from this directory just type cmd here it should start your terminal or command from then you just need to type code space one dot and it should start your visual code directly from that particular folder yeah that's all from my side if you like this video then make sure you like this video in case if you're new to this channel then make sure you subscribe this channel and uh, share with your friends and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye